Hey guys, do you know about Jericho? Jericho is here, and it is the lowest and oldest town in the world. During the Mesolithic age, men were semi sedentary, and where resources of an area finished, they moved away. At the same time in Jericho, the first human settlement was born. The Neolithic age was already starting. In the rest of the world, the Neolithic began years later, and when it was in full expansion, people in Jericho were already domesticating animals. Jericho was one of the most flourishing cities in the area. This is why some great kings chose it as their residence. For example, Alexander the Great, Herod, who built the Winter Palace, and Caliph Hisham, who built Hisham Palace. In 1867, the first excavations brought all this to life. But why does Jericho have such an important history? Because of the water. Jericho is an oasis. And when there is water, there are human beings. They build houses, plant cements, and create systems to manage water. But today, in Jericho, water runs into pipes and people cannot see and cannot listen water running. In Sultan is the main spring from which the population of Jericho draws water that people use for drink, for watering fields, and for pools. So, is the water in the oasis unlimited? No, it isn't. And although large amounts of water flow out of the springs, if the population keep on growing, it is no longer enough. What we can do? First of all, we must close the tap when it is not being used. We must irrigate after sunset to avoid water evaporation. And we must limit the use of air conditioning. Living in a mud houses, for example, Jericho is the only city in the West Bank that still have water. Top West water give you contribution to keep your city at number one.